Hey, what's going on everyone? James Hurst here. And uh, as you may or may not have heard, Math Operator came out in workflows. And so I just kind of thought I would try to come up with a basic scenario for doing uh, lead scoring, which might be one of the cool uh, use cases for the Math Operator. So over here in high level, you can see uh, I made a, I started with lead scoring, making a new custom field. It's a numerical custom field, okay? So just come in numerical and call it lead score, for example. So I've already did that right here. It's called lead score. The type is numerical, okay? So then what I did was I went into an existing workflow. So I already have a appointment confirmation reminder. And so the first thing I did when they, came, when they booked an appointment was I used the math operation to add 15 points to my lead, okay? So I updated the field lead score right here, which I just made. Add is you have add, multiply, subtract, divide. So I just said I'm going to add 15 points because now they're a hotter lead, right? And they booked an appointment with me, so 15 points. Okay, so I have that there. Now, in order to see the value of that field, what I did was I created an opportunity that's separate. I, I, I was tr immediately turning around and uh, texting myself, right? And then score as contact lead score. Um, you know how sometimes you like deletes and some things like there's a lot of things processing. So I didn't know how long it would need to, um, to take to like save that and process that information. Right. Uh, so what I've been doing at least for now is giving it a one minute wait. I know this is brand new and so I don't know uh, how long you'll have to wait in the future. Uh, but hopefully, you know, you don't need that information right away and it can take its time to, to process, uh, at least in my case. And for the sake of example only. Um, I'm going to go ahead and text that to myself um, after waiting a minute, okay? And so then I'm going to do some other things, and maybe they open an email or, or reply to an email, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, I'm going to wait um, a minute there. And then I'm going to add 10 more points, okay? So same kind of thing. It's a math operator if you haven't found that yet. So you just would go here to the plus sign and type in math, math operation. And then you would uh, pick your lead score. And you would pick the operator, the amount, and then update the field of lead score. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel that for right now. And then I have this basically a duplicate text message called, called the second text, right? And now I kind of want to see how the score has changed. So that would be right there. So I would text myself again a minute later. And like I said, it may take five minutes. I don't know. Um, so then let's go ahead and test how this might work. So let's kind of see this live right now. So I'm going to go over to my booking, um, my booker appointment booking, and I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. Let's do a 60 minute appointment. Pick any date at noon. Let's do, um, let's do Michael Jordan. Okay. Michael Jordan. And let's do a phone number. Get a one, one, two, three, eight, nine, seven, six. If that's valid, it's not going to like that. It seems like it likes the higher numbers first. There we go. So then Michael at gmail.com, however. And then, so as a test, so we want that, we expect this to be 15 points when it gets that first text. So I'm just going to put that in there as kind of my test case. So should be 15 points, points at first text. Okay. So there we go and schedule meeting. So that's, that should be kicked off there. If we come back and we refresh this, we should see that um, there's somebody sitting in the wait condition, right? And there they are. So there's Michael Jordan right there. Uh, we've already gone through that add 15 points. If we wanted to go uh, look at him in that custom field, we could go to the additional information pane and inspect that value. And let's also, so there it is. So yeah, it's score 15. And here, so we're still waiting. I've done some other tests here, but waiting for that first text to come through. So let's come back here. We're still waiting for one minute. Okay. And we're still waiting right now for a text from Michael Jordan. And the score should be 15. So that's what we're waiting for. While that's 
while that's waiting, um, on the flip side, you know, that's great that maybe it can add up the score, right? But really what you need after that is some sort of threshold. Oh, there it is. So Michael Jordan. So giving it a minute to save that off is enough apparently uh, to have that value there. You could see in previous tests, it was empty. But it looks like if you at least give it a minute that it should have that score there saved, which is, which is great. Because uh, rarely would you need that value, you know, right away. Okay, so let's talk about this threshold idea, right? So as we're adding up points and leads getting hotter, you know, let's just say 100 is the threshold that we want to like say, hey, like get this to my sales guy. This guy's got my appointment. You know, he's opening my emails. You know, he's just climbing the, the ladder of, of, of a hot lead, right? He's got all these little points, 5 points, 10 points, 15 points. He's now crossed 100, okay? Uh, I was hoping that that could be done already out of the box. Uh, when I went to go look for that, uh, basically I had this option here. So for my for my workflow trigger, uh, CRM is a type. So I was looking for you know contact change, and I I'm, I could very well be missing something here. But you know uh, now that this is out, maybe we'll kind of think through these other scenarios and stuff. But basically, I thought that my best bet was going to be you know. Um, contact change runs when a contact data is updated, right? And sure enough, I could then go and find the lead score field. And then this is where, uh, you know, we might need to change these operators here, right? So to be greater than, less than, equal to, you know, et cetera. Uh, and so in this case, since I knew my test was gonna actually land on 25, um, I, I just put, hey, that, that, that it has changed to exactly 25. And so then, that would basically be the example of, hey, this guy is uh, a hot lead. Let's go ahead and uh, send a text that, that this guy um, here is ready for a manual phone call, sales call, etc. So then this is just going to text me uh, that it hit 25 to just to verify that this thing fired, right? So let's see where we are at with uh, the wait. Okay, so we did get to the second wait condition. That the, the lead score is 25 or contact lead score. Oh, you know what? I think I must have missed a curly brace there. Darn it. So I'll have to fix that. No. Oh, you know, wait a second. Maybe. Sorry. Yeah, I did miss a curly brace there. So that that would have to do that to be fixed. Okay. So let's take a look here. So. Uh, new meeting schedule this should be so it actually fired and it kicked off the other one it, it, I think it worked so then we're still waiting for one more wait condition here I believe let's see where we're at and there it is I think no that's my why okay so wait oh no Michael Jordan so Michael Jordan 15 points should be 15 it should be 25 so it didn't have that it didn't have that 25 yet so for whatever reason on that second part uh, it didn't have the 25 so basically the, I think the um, takeaway here is and then if I actually go into that contact actually don't let me let me not do it that way let me just go straight into them just to for contact privacy so his value here at this point should be 25, I believe, right? And there it is. So it is adding up, okay? It is adding up. Uh, it just was a little late on saving it before I sent that message. It hit 25 and it kicked off that thing. So the pieces of this are all here. Uh, the big picture is this is kind of like, how would you set up a basic you know, lead scoring system? Um, basically, I think the... I think that this could kind of work and, and could a lot of use cases and uh, potential could come out of this. Um, uh, but I would just say, if you're gonna try to read that, uh, that data, then just give it you know, a couple minutes, three to five minutes at least, uh, to make sure that it's actually had a chance to be processed and saved. I'm sure it'll only get faster over time. So hopefully that's helpful. That would be basic lead scoring in Go High Level um, as of today. Thanks for the, all the hard work from Sean and the team, NASA. Varun, all you guys, we really appreciate all you guys do. We love Go High Level. I'm a huge fan myself. So hope that's helpful, guys. And uh, get out there and, and get some clients. Take care. Bye.